Hey, what's up, my people? Zemgo here, the freaking geek himself, and we are continuing our look with fans' toys, Ethereon, their Superion. And today we're going to take a look at uh, all this stuff right here. Here are all the combined mode bits, these sinful, sinful combined mode parts, according to some people. Doesn't bother me one bit, but to each their own. But the cool thing about all of these parts is that they do serve a purpose outside of the combined mode. So everything you see here, the torso, the feet, the hands, the big old gun, all of this will serve a purpose outside of the combined mode. And that is what we are going to show off today. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So first we're going to start off with the feet. This is the, uh, the left foot. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take these side sections and just bring them out. They're on a double hinge. So just swing that out and down. We're now going to take this whole section here and bring it up like so. This section will extend. Just pull that up like that. Uh, we have a little retaining tab that will flip up here from the bottom that will tab into that slot right there. Just line it up and drop that into place like so. That will lock that in. And then you just want to open up these panels right here on either side because we need to flip this out. And this is another little locking piece. This will go over this tab right here. So bring that down, line that up, and push that in to lock that in place. Take all this and just rotate that forward. And then you can close these back up. Just open that up like so. And lastly, we're just going to come to this section of the foot right here. Unpeg it, swing that out. There's a little panel right here you need to flip out, and this is not the easiest thing to get out. Oh, there we go. And of course, <laughs> then I do it really easily. But it fights me any other time, but swing that out, and there you go. You have that all done and ready to go. And here we have the right foot, and second verse is pretty much like the first. So take these side sections here, swing them out, bring all this up, bring all this up, and extend. Like so, flip this up and plug that in. Open these panels up just so you can access this right here. Bring that down and lock that into place. Just bring all that forward so you can close these sections back up and just flatten all that out. And then come up under here, undo the section, flip that out, get this flipped out. Like so, now I'm having an easy time doing that. <laughs> but flip that out, and there you go. You have that side all done and ready to go. So here we have the main torso, and we need to uh, do some amputation here. So open up the legs a little bit. We need to open up these panels here. Open it up, and you may need a tool just to help you Let's get started. Let's open that up enough to where you can open that up. Open this up, and now you're just going to slide this all off the uh, the mushroom peg here. Just give it a little wiggle, 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 and that'll pop right off. And that is what we are going to be using. Same thing on the other side. Again, you may need something to just get it started for you. There we go. And open all this up. Get some tight ratchets here also. Open that up, and just get that little wiggle, 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 and pop that off. Okay, so here we have the left thigh, and what we're going to do here is, you want to open this front section up here. Just get that untabbed. This is quite snug. There we go. Undo that, free that up so we can take this section, flip it in, like so, and then we can just close all this up so it's like that. Now we're going to take the thigh and just bring that all the way back like so. Going to open these sections up. I have little panels here on either side that are going to just flip out. And then we're going to take this section, bring this up. We have a little locking point right here. Just bring that up, tab that in, and we're going to flip this section out and flip this section out. And there we have that all done. And for the right thigh, we're doing mostly the same thing. We're going to flip this up. We're going to flip that in. Get the thigh. Bring that all the way back. Open these up. Open these up. Bring this up. 
bring out that little locking post there and tab that into place. Then go up under here, flip this entire thing up, angle that out, and there you have that side ready to go. So now it's time for the big ka -chunk, ka chunk here. So first thing we're gonna do is take this section and just bring that down. That will allow us to undo this pecs here and bring those down. You wanna take these wings here, slide them up, rotate them, and just bring them back down. Bring that out, rotate it, and put that right back in place like so. I'm gonna come back here. You have these little panels here, these little locking panels. You wanna flip these up, that will allow you to take these sections here and bring them out to the side. At this point, you wanna take the panel his head is on and just pop that open, swing that around, swing that under, and that will just lock in right there. And now you just wanna bring this down and this tab will go into a big slot right here, so. Get all that situated and just drop that down. You can close these back up and you have that oriented thusly. So in here is where the combined mode hands are going to live. So you want to take this whole thumb section here and just bring that down and rotate it in. And then you can bring the thumb down. And then you just take the fingers and just ball them up. You take this section here and you rotate it 180, so it is oriented thusly, and this will just slide right in here. There is a notch for it. It doesn't, now, in all fairness, in all honesty, like it doesn't hold in super well. Um, do the same thing with the other hand. Get that fist balled up, rotate that, and stick that and just slide it in. Again, there's a, little, there, there's a groove for it, but it doesn't hold in like super, securely or anything it's just a place for them to go it would have been nice if they had actually held in a bit more securely unless i'm just doing something wrong but it doesn't seem like i am i don't know but that's pretty much what you're doing once you've done that just take all this and just lay it down like that so now you're going to take these shoulder ports here and just rotate them down pretty tight ratchet there down and Get that down. Yeah, come on. Come on. Work with me. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Get those down like that. So now you want to take the waist and rotate it 180. You're going to untab these hip skirt pieces here. Just pop them off. And again, these are locked in pretty secure also. So bring it out, rotate it, straighten that out, and bring that down. And that would just kind of tuck in under this piece here, all nice and tucked in like. And do the same thing on the other side. Just get that unlocked, bring that forward, rotate it, open that up, and just bring that down and just get everything all nice and tucked in like, like that. Now they do want you to take these pieces and rotate them forward. This is a very tight joint. I'm not gonna fight with it. I leave them pointed up. You can do whatever you want with them. And now we bring in the big old combined mode blaster here. You want to take the handle and just bring that back. You want to take these little fins here and just rotate them down. Then you're going to take this, just crack it down the middle and bring that down like so. And this section will just come out like that. And this will just plug in right up top like that. And there you have all of that ready to go. So now you're gonna take your left foot and this tab is gonna go into a notch right in here. So just line that up and lock that into place. Then you bring in your left thigh and this panel will go over this tab right here. So just take that and lock that up and you have that side done. And second verse is just like the first. Then you take your right sides Snap that into place, bring this in, this will tab in, right there, and there you go. And now we bring in our jets. So for silver bolt, uh, this section right here is gonna go in this opening right there. So just gonna line that up, drop it down, get them balanced, and you have that. 
And now for Air Raid, uh, you want to make sure his landing gears are flipped in because this section right here is going to drop right into this opening right there. Just line it up and he'll just sit like that. And for Slingshot, this section here is just going to drop right in here. So just drop that in and that will just seat itself right there. Now for Skydive, what's going to happen is this section here is going to cradle his uh, his crotch, basically. It's just going to cradle this section right here. So just line that up and drop it down. That will sit right there. And last but not least, for Fire Flight, uh, this section right here is just going to go in between his, his knees there. So again, just kind of line things up, get all situated. And there he is. And there you have all of the jets on their flight stands. And that's really cool. It's a cool display option. And as always, options are good. And good on Fans Toys for making all the extra stuff functional outside of the combined mode. It's not a necessity for me personally, but I appreciate that they went the extra mile there. Now, bear in mind, these jets are not locked onto these stands in any way, shape, or form. They're being held on purely by gravity. So you can just knock these right off. So I would recommend that if you do intend on displaying them in this configuration, put this somewhere where you're not going to accidentally bump into it, because if you do bump into it, oh, they will go a tumbling. So just be mindful of that. But again, a cool alternate use for the combined mode parts if you want to take advantage of it. Again, options, they're good. So there you go. Now you can pick up this set from TF Safari. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. And if you use the promo code 2022MGOREVIEW at checkout, you will get a discount on your order. You can also check out the Ethereum playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the flight stand mode for Fans Toys Ethereon, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm in your face.